It is the most dynamic combination of animal and man in sport. Thoroughbred racing. Here at Churchill Downs, we've got a tremendous team. What we think about all the time is the racing that we put on for all of our fans. But when we put on great racing, we always want to make sure that everyone is safe. From the horses, to the jockeys, to the starters, to the pony riders. It's about making sure that we have a fun, entertaining event, but one that all the participants are as safe as possible. Churchill Downs is definitely one of the most safest racetracks that I've ridden on throughout my career. And the maintenance guys do such a good job taking care of it and keeping it in good shape for us. At its best, the sport is a majestic combination of intellect and power, molded together by a desire to perform, a passion to win, and a shared risk. Injuries are a risk in any sport, and a key factor in the future of thoroughbred racing is the discovery of new ways to minimize the risk of potential injury. That's why Churchill Downs has launched a comprehensive multi-million dollar initiative called Safety from Start to Finish. Churchill Downs was the first track in North America to receive safety accreditation under the National Thoroughbred Racing Association's Safety and Integrity Alliance. Instrumental in the creation of those safety guidelines, Churchill Downs begins its initiative with a comprehensive education process for all track staff, particularly those who work in backside operations and its gate crews, along with trainers, grooms, and other personnel who work at stables located at the track. In the category of athlete health, Churchill Downs has long been a leader. An early participant in the National Equine Injury Database, our track is helping to gather and share statistical data and identify trends in an effort to eliminate potentially hazardous conditions on and off the track. There are few things more critical to safety in any sport than the surface upon which it is played and the same goes for thoroughbred racing. Churchill's historically has always been a very safe racetrack. Track surface is the key for a race. You gotta understand these horses are running at 35 to 40 some odd miles an hour and their legs are landing on a track that needs to be very consistent for it to be a safe uh, race. Churchill Downs has teamed with Dr. Mick Peterson the world's leading expert on track surface testing and a founding member of the Racing Services Testing Laboratory in the development of a robotic hoof device for the testing and evaluation of the condition of racetrack surfaces. The standardization of track surfaces is the goal of this unique testing system. There's the biomechanical uh, track tester. We use that just to see when we're getting ready for the racing, that's the final check to make sure everything's put together and it replicates the speed and the loads of the hoof at, at a gallop. There are several factors that are critical to the safety of the horse and the riders. And chief among them is uh, looking at the uh, composition, the moisture content, and the uh, depth of the cushion. So we're using ground penetrating radar to look to make sure the material is consistent all the way around the track, and we want it to be consistent from day to day. They're taking the lead in making these surfaces safer for our equine athletes. The most important part of training is training a healthy horse. And you know, that's my number one job is to try to keep these guys healthy and happy. If you put the horse first, the horse will give back to you. Sophisticated drug testing is also part of the track safety regimen. A battery of super tests that screen for more than 100 illegal drugs awaits the winner of each Churchill Downs race. Those super tests and the freezing of both blood and urine samples for retroactive testing target not only potential abnormalities, but are also designed to increase public confidence. While the safety of horses is critical, so is the safety of the jockeys who guide them during races and exercise riders who are aboard for their early morning training. Improved safety designs for helmets, impact vests, and riding crops, along with safety padding that covers areas of potential contact and starting gates, all come into play not only on race day, but on all days at the track. When I go to race, I feel safe because I know the horses that I've ridden have been evaluated in the mornings by the track state veterinarians, and they're coming over and they've looked at them already and not found anything wrong with them. And we get out on the racetrack and warm them up and see how they feel. And there's also a track veterinarian on the racetrack. If we do have a problem, we evaluate them and determine whether or not the horse should be scratched or should be able to run. The commitment to safety at Churchill Downs continues beyond the end of the racing or training day through its supportive retirement program 
shops that work to find new careers for horses after their days on the track. Churchill Downs also reaches out to racing fans through its websites, where you can learn more about its commitment to safety for horses and humans. I keep in training close to 100 head of horses, and at any given time on my farm, we'll have 20 horses or more that have been retired. And we try to teach them something, a new skill, whether it be jumping or dressage riding or pleasure riding or polo ponies, and, and try to find them new homes. I think there's a big responsibility for whoever the last person is to own a horse during his racing career to make sure that he has a good life afterwards. In terms of the majesty of its athletes, both equine and human, and the excitement created by the unique partnership between horse and human that is the very foundation of the sport. The beauty and thrill of thoroughbred racing has few rivals among the world's great sports. And thanks in large measure to safety initiatives born at Churchill Downs, racing will be one of the safest of sports from start to finish.